Welcome people of YouTube, Jack Gash here again today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking on this video. The last video of 2021. So, get 2022 prepped. And I always like doing this. Just before a new year. I like to get myself in the sort of mind state that I want to take into the new year. You know, and I think um, if you're watching this video, you might want to take a few things away for yourself. Um, and you might want to do some of these things yourself because it's healthy, it's nice, it's forming some form of structure. So if you look back um, over 2021, there's certain situations, certain people, certain topics, certain lessons you've learned that you might want to leave behind. Um, and I often find that it's nice to write a list of the things in 2021 that you, you'd like to leave behind. Maybe it's a bit unpleasant, maybe it's a bit you know, of a learning curve that you don't really want to experience again. Um, and writing these things through, you know, you write down what, what it was that happened or, um, and why, what, how it made you feel or the things that have helped you change as an individual. Write them down, the things that you want to leave. Um, in 2021, stuff that you don't want to take with you anymore. You can't drag your past around with you anymore. Um, you've got to let it go or it affects your future. And this is what we're talking about here. You're getting prepped for the next year, which is your future, your future self, your future growth. You know, it's another 12 month period and one's just come to an end. So discuss with yourself what you'd like to leave behind. Um, also, the things that you're grateful for. What are the things that's helped you change? What are the things that might have been a bit unpleasant but have been a blessing in disguise? What are the things that you're happy about? What changes did you make that really benefited you throughout the year? Um, what discoveries have you found? What people have you met? Um, all kinds of things like that. You see, when you're looking at your view and your life like this, you're looking at it from an abstract point of view. You're taking the mundane view of it all or maybe the traumatic relationship you've got with your past and you're turning it into something more positive and, and something a bit more workable rather than unworkable or unapproachable. So 2022 prepped. I like to write down a little list of things that I want to leave behind in my journal. Sometimes I rip the page out and it's nice to burn it over a candlelight, obviously in your sink, be safe about fires. But I'll rip it up into a million and one pieces. Um, something like that. Destroy what you'd like to leave behind. And then write down the things that you appreciate. Keep that to one side. Keep that in your journal. Writing something down brings it into existence. If not, it's just constantly in your head. It's never, it's never in existence just yet. Um, but then going into 2022... Write down some goals. You see, I've mentioned this a few times in videos before, but I always say start off with 25 and then de from that depict 10 that are your most important. But when you get good at goals, you can just go straight for the 10. But focus on 10 goals, focus on 100 goals, focus on whatever you want. But if you form some sort of goals going into the next year, you're giving yourself some form of drive, you're giving yourself some form of focus. You see... Having goals written down, you get to look at what means the most to you, what means, what's the most important to you, what will give you the biggest satisfaction. You know, it also gives you something to do because without having goals, you're just going into autopilot because there's no kind of direction or you're not doing, or you're not doing the things that are classed as autopilot for anything else. Um, you might do, be doing jobs that you don't, not particularly not particularly like, but then your 2022 goal might be get a new job. It might be save up for a house. It might be form a better family life. It might be become a better person, become a happier person to be around, get rid of my depression or anxiety, form happiness in my life, form structure, form meaning, form purpose, anything. Whatever your goals are, they are personal goals. And once you've written them down, they're there, they exist, they're in front of you. You can read them, you can put them somewhere where you remember them. Might be on the back of your bedroom door, might be 
on your fridge, might be in your sock drawer. Quite funny enough, I went into my sock drawer a couple of weeks back and I found my 2019 goals that I've kept in there. And it's good to reflect back on it. It's good to look back at what you really went for, how hard you worked for certain things, how close you got to certain goals that you'd written down. Life's broken down, isn't it? You think about it. If you're focusing on a 12-month period with certain goals that you want to achieve within that 12-month period, well, a five-year period is broken down of five 12-month periods, a 10-year period, 10 12-month periods. So you're breaking your life down into sections. And doing this, you're creating a more happy, happy, more meaningful life because you're looking at the things that you really want to do and trying to make a go of them. This is where meaning comes from. This is where purpose comes from. From asking yourself what means the most to you. What is going to be the most happiest experience for you. And the thing is with these goals, it's not necessarily about getting to the goal and achieving it. It's the process behind it. Because that's what makes the person. That's what makes you who you are. When you create these things that you want to go for, the person it builds, the person it grows on that journey is magnificent. The changes you go through, the lessons you learn, the sacrifices you make, that's what makes you who you are. That's what makes you an individual. That's what makes you a character. That's what gives you differences amongst others. Individuality, authenticity, all comes from creating the things that you really like in life and what you really want to do and, and going towards that and striving towards that. What means the most to me and what I see as per, per, purposefulness, if I can get my words out, <laughs> and really important and what I love will be completely different to what you like. And that's what makes us individuals. But like I say, it's all to do with the process. Fall in love with the process of going for these things and giving yourself some form of meaning. A lot of, you know, things that we, when we don't feel like we've got, there's no point in anything anymore, is because we've lost as purpose, we've lost as meaning, because we haven't got as goals set. So get 2022 prepped, get your goals written down, get what you really want to strive for in a book somewhere, on a bit of paper somewhere. Get it written down, get it in front of you and read it and discipline yourself. Discipline, focus, honesty, love, appreciation for your life. Create it the way you want. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody else is going to write your goals for you. Nobody else is going to give you the sense of direction. Don't walk around another year lost wondering what the hell to do with yourself. Find out what you want to do with yourself and go for it. As I always say on this channel, Peace and love to anybody watching this. I want to just take this opportunity at the end of this video to say a massive thank you to everybody who watches this channel. I love making these videos. It, you know, it's really creative for me. Um, and the feedback I've had this year is just phenomenal. I've had so many lovely comments from different people, different messages, and it's just really nice to hear that people are engaging with this content. Um, it's raw honesty. It's raw me. I'm not trying to create anything for a show or anything, as you guys know, it's just organic and it's grown organically. I created this channel, what, three years ago now? And it's just got f from strength to strength. Content's changed. Looking back at my old videos, I've changed along the way and as I've learnt things, I've pr you know put it into videos and I'm just trying to make the world a bit of a better place, let people see that... You know, there's goodness in the world and life is beautiful um, and it's what we make of it. And if we can make something of ourselves and project it back into the world, that's a good thing. And if everybody starts doing that, then the world becomes a good thing. Um, so, yeah, man, peace out and I hope you have a great start to 2022. Uh, and I'll see you in the new year, guys. <laughs>